Hey everybody, Benny for the Benny Podcast, and it's that time of year. It's nearly the point where we look back at the best things in Blood Bowl for 2024. Yes, we're talking about the Bonehead Awards. We had to skip them last year with my paternity, but they are back this year. And I want to quickly talk through the way we're going to do things. So, uh, we're going to be doing this on a podcast in a couple of weeks, maybe a bit more than a couple of weeks' time. But we're going to do it slightly differently. We're not just going to do it on what we think. What we're going to do, and we want your input now, and we're going to want your input later. We're going to be putting towards uh, a list of things where me, Ben, Trips and Milton are all going to nominate a thing in each of the categories. They're going to be our nominations, and we want you to help us fill the nominations out. And then just about when we're ready, we're going to drop out a Google form to say, hey, put your votes in because we want as many of you as possible to vote for the winners in each of this category like historically this has been a bonehead award based on like what we thought but we want it to be a bonehead award based on what the viewers of this channel what you guys think as well so what we'll do is we'll give a quick rundown of the categories and then what i'd really love your help with and i'll see if i can't set up a, a sub bit in the discord for this as well um is for you guys to let us know what great products came out in each of these categories that you want to see represented and then me ben trips milton will pick one from each of the category maybe there'll be less anyway we'll only put forward the ones we think are like worthwhile then we'll let you guys vote at the end so let's have a quick look at the categories okay so let's have a look at the categories remember we want you to suggest things uh that that fill these out Crash. <clears throat> All right, let's have a look at the categories. So the Bonehead Awards 2024, we've got Best Team from Games Workshop. This is easy. We've already filled it out. There are only two teams that Games Workshop dropped this year, Gnomes and Chaos Dwarves. Best Team Third Party. Now, this is changing it up a little bit. Uh, we used to have the physical category and the STL category. Now we're just doing all third party. And it has to be something that has been purchased this year so in the realm of things like kickstarter if it landed on kickstarter earlier this year you backed it but you haven't received it yet that's valid if it's arrived this year but you backed it a couple of years ago that's not valid so it's stuff that was that you bought this year basically and this wildly is probably going to be dominated by uh, the amount of STL teams out there so this is the going to be the hottest I think the most like the most competitive one so this is where i'm hoping you guys are gonna be like don't forget this team ben don't forget this team ben i love this team i've seen this team think about these teams i want you to steer us to what you think the best teams are that came out from non-games workshop this year then we've got the best star from games workshop these are the first five that came to mind we've got rodney we've got stabber we've got a uh, gun dwarf we've got deer gnome and we've got dora star but we need your help putting together the best star third parties. And this is physical and STL. Everything we just said about the teams is true of this one as well. So if it's come out this year, if you've paid for it this year and you think it's awesome, in the comments or in the Discord when I set up the channel, um, let us know so that we can get our picks put together. Best big guy from Games Workshop. Yes, I know bull centaurs aren't big guys, but we're considering them as the big guy because I don't know if there was a... I, don't, I, don't, I truly don't know if there was much else that came out this year that could be con considered a, bit a big guy from Games Workshop. I mean, maybe we might have to shuffle some stars around to put them in this category, but I'm trying to think if there was a big guy star player that came out this year that would fit. I mean, Hathark potentially? um yeah interesting one anyway best big guy third party same as before physical or stl then uh if it's a great model let us know what the model is and which company so that we can kind of aggregate it and like i said we can all take a pick and then the best blood ball accessory that you got hold of this year uh this is going to be an interesting one there's some cool stuff kicking around the market this tends to be the Charlie Victor Award, but there's some really cool stuff out there for Blood Bowl. And then the last one that we're going to get you guys to vote on is the best tournament um, from the Bonehead Podcast. The one Which one of our tournaments was the best one that you went to this year? They all have their unique charms. This is going to be an interesting one. This one's always kind of just like a little thing for us. I can't guarantee that there might be more things in the form, like uh, pick your favorite one of this, pick your favorite one of that. 
uh, that we kind of go. But as far as the main categories, we're looking at best team. And we want you to pitch in here. Best team, third party. Best star, third party. Best big guy, third party. And best Blood Bowl accessories. We want you to let us know in the comments what you've seen for Blood Bowl this year that you think is worthy of us putting forward for the Bonehead Awards. All right, I really love this. It's a really cool point to kind of look back and, and see all the great stuff that's out there for Blood Bowl. We are so lucky. We are in an absolute gaming golden age at the moment, and I know the release schedule from Games Workshop is slower than we'd all like. Two teams a year feels about right, though, when you kind of think about how many gaming opportunities and stuff like that. So that's not bad. And third party are just flooding us with awesome, awesome stuff. Um, so we're really lucky in that regard. So that's that's very, very, very cool. So I, I like this bit and I'm very much looking forward to getting a Google form out to you all so that you can vote for the Bonies this year. It's just about the end of November now. So we're going to have this out towards the end of December um, because we want to give this a good old go. And we're also building up a little prize pool as well. So those of you who will be voting will be put in for a raffle for some prizes too. But more on that later. For now, I'm going to wrap up. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back soon with more Blood Bowl content. Happy blocking.